everybody, welcome to the Black Sheep Props channel. I'm Steve and I'm here to teach you the tips, tools, techniques, and materials for building your very own super cool EVA foam props. Now in our last build, we went sci-fi when we built the phaser rifle from Star Trek. Uh, if you missed that build, we're going to include the link in the description below to our channel's homepage so you can go over there and check out phaser rifle or any of the other super cool builds we have there. Um, now for this build, we're going to stay sci-fi. So without further ado, Black Sheep Props would like to introduce you to the newest member of the family. <laughs> That's right, dig it, man. It is the Neuralizer from Men in Black. Gonna wipe your memory after you watch this episode. Um, that's it. Really cool. Super easy. We're gonna do the whole build. We're gonna seal it and we're gonna paint it in this episode. Um, a lot of cylinder stuff happening here. A lot of round cutting. Simple two and three millimeter foam for most of the whole thing. Um, really simple. Um, so in this episode, making an EVA foam neuralizer, we are going to build the whole thing, we're going to seal it, and we're going to paint it. And if you want to build along with us, we have a template. So we'll include the link in the description below to our storefront so you can go over there and grab a template if you want. Um, so man, let's just get in there. If you're ready to hit it, let's make something. All right, there we go. That's all of our pieces for our nebulizer. Not bad. Everything is either two or three millimeter, except these two pieces. We've got a 12 millimeter here that we're going to shape, and we've got a 24 millimeter dowel. But other than that, this is all twos and threes. Nice and thin. Should be easy. Okay, we're going to start by wrapping our 24 millimeter dowel with a two millimeter piece of foam. All right, there we go. Now let's do a test wrap to make sure we've got the proper length. Three and a quarter. All right, let's make sure. Ooh, pretty close. Let's adjust it to be exactly three and a quarter. Right there. All right, just like that. All right, to the inside of that line. Slight bevel. We'll tip our knife just a little bit to get a little bit of an angle there on the end. Instead of straight up, we just tip it a little bit. All right, there we go. You know the drill. Let both sides dry and then the cement can make contact. Just like that. All right, there we go. We're anchored. Now we're going to start rolling. So we're literally going to keep it pressed down flat and we're going to roll. Perfect. Let's come around to this side, do the same thing. All right, now what we're going to do first is we're going to get the ends covered so they can make contact. meet our seam up all the way down just like that okay and as we attach it we push it down in the middle all right there we go look at that that's pretty darn sweet. It was a hair too long, but once we attached it and we pushed it down, it's not terrible. And Okay, now we're going to take this three millimeter piece. We're going to create another wrap. All right, and we've got a bunch of lines drawn on here, okay? And what we're doing is we're going to be cutting out these two openings and then all these little dots down both sides, right there and right there, we're going to use as a guide and we're going to use our X-Acto knife and we're going to go from this line all the way off the end following those dots okay we're going to make a bunch of creases we're just going to barely cup the surface we're not going to go too deep all right that's it just lightly break the surface don't go too deep Ok, 
Okay, now we're going to skip the ones that go through those openings. All right, we don't want to do it anywhere near there. Perfect. Nice thin lines all the way through. And the reason we didn't do those is this. Okay, this is actually in the wrong spot. It's supposed to be on this side. Okay. We're going to sand our knife up. And then through the end and voila. Perfect. All right, now we're just going to do this one too. There we go. Two of them. Nice. Okay, now we're going to come back in and we're going to continue our line that we didn't strike. We're going to start right at the front edge. We're going to leave a little tiny gap just outside of our Sharpie mark right there. All right, here we go. We've got all of our lines cut through our piece, starting from this line and going down. And then right here where the lines meet our openings, right here and here and here and here, we started just outside the Sharpie mark. So there's gonna be a little gap in between, All right? Simple details, but that's it right there. Just like that. Okay, now we've got our marks. Okay, we did a test wrap with a piece of foam to make sure that we've got the right length for it to meet together. And that's this inside line right here. All right, so we're gonna to come to that line. We're gonna use our box cutter and instead of cutting straight, we're gonna tip it just a tiny bit like we always do when we're doing a wrap. All right, just like that, slight angle. Now, same thing on this side, come to our mark. Tip our knife just a little bit. Do a slight angle. All right, that helps when you come around to make good contact. All right, there. All right, perfect. All right, now we're going to lay it right down the middle like that. All right, there we go, we're anchored. Time to start rolling. Okay, there we go. Let's come around to this side, let's do the same thing. Perfect. Pinch our seam together. All right, there we go, beautiful seam. Holy cow, that is perfect. All right, now we're gonna spin around and follow this end all the way down. All right, there we go, that is beautiful. Now let's... All right, there we go. Wow, that is beautiful. Really nice, really clean. Okay, what we're gonna do first though is we're gonna clean this with our Dremel. Okay, there's a little bit of residue from the glue. We're gonna hit it with the Dremel, that'll clean it up. Gonna... All right, there we go, nice and smooth. Okay, now what we're gonna do is this. We're gonna come in with our template. Okay, this template is the length of our piece. We've got some lines on here, okay? So what we're gonna do is this. All right, this piece of the template matches this. So we brought this in, we made a little silver mark right there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make three cuts on the bandsaw. We're gonna cut here, at the end of our three millimeter wrap, and at the end of our two millimeter wrap. Okay, here's our pieces, all right? Okay, now we have tiny little frays around the edge because when you send it through the bandsaw, sometimes on the bottom you get little frays. And you just use your X-Acto. All 
Okay, so what we're gonna do next is this, okay? We're gonna move this out of the way. Now we're gonna take this piece, okay? This is our part of our dowel that was wrapped with our two millimeter foam, and we're gonna cut this perfectly in half. All right, there we go. We're using our circle guide. We're gonna make our center mark here and here. All right. All right, there we go. Now we know that's where we're gonna be cutting on the bandsaw, all right? All right, there we go, we cut it in half. Now we're gonna throw away the half that had the seam on it. Okay, so there we go, we've got a nice half round. Now when we come in and we attach this to here and here, now we're starting to get what we want. Really cool. All right, there we go. Okay, we're gonna take this 12 millimeter circle we're going to cut it out on the scroll saw, and then we're going to shape it. All right, there we go. Perfectly round. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to get our dust mask on. We're going to come in with our Dremel, and we're going to round this off. All right, there we go, check it out. Nice and round. That tightened up nice. Love the way the foam tightens up when you heat it, perfect. All right, that's gonna be coming in and going right on the end, just like that, really nice. All right. Beautiful, look at that, man. All right, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna get our heat gun out, we're gonna heat this piece up, and when we heat it up, the creases that we made with our X-Acto knife are gonna open up a little bit. That is cool. That's what we wanted. All right. Okay, here we go. Now we're gonna do the same thing to this back end. We're gonna round it off, okay? So we're gonna get the Dremel out, get our dust mask back on, and we're gonna to start to shape this because we want it to be kind of like a bullet on the end. All right, there we go. That's not bad. We could go even further, but we'll stop there. You can shape it as pointy as you want. I think we're kind of good right there. Looking good. All right. all right, now we're gonna bring in all these pieces, okay? It's gonna be the detail work that's gonna go on top of this half round right here. All right, all two and three millimeters, really easy stuff. We're gonna... All right, there we go. That easy. Got it. All right. All right, now we're gonna cut out this window and we're gonna stick it on top of this piece. All right, and we're gonna cut to the outside of our line. That's our little arrow here shows. All right, see that, our little arrow? We wanna cut to the outside of our line, not the inside. All right, there we go, beautiful. All right, there we go. Give it a minute. Carefully. All right, sweet, there we go. All right, we're going to lay another template down for our final cut. Make our four dots.
All right, so now we're going to come in and we are going to line this up flush with the edge. Flush it very carefully. We're keeping the one side up. All right. Okay, we're lined up really nice on the edge here. Beautiful, look at that. Very nice. Perfectly lined up on the edge. Now we're going to come around to this side. Perfect. All right, now before we do that, we're going to come in with our circles. These are all three millimeter circles. We're going to cut these out with our X-Acto knife. All right, there's one. Just do the other two. All right, there we go. Perfect. Get our super glue out. All right, let's put a puddle down. There we go, nice and covered. We're gonna come in and drop it right inside of our little space we cut. All right, there we go. Really nice. All right, now what we're going to do, too, is we're going to bring our Dremel in. We're going to clean up these two seams, okay? We've got a slight little bump here, but mostly we want to take off that contact cement residue. All right, we are looking good, man. Looking good. Sweet, man, that is really cool. Very nice. All right, let's do these little buttons that go down in here. Okay, here's our little three millimeter pieces drawn out. We've got these three little pieces and this one right here. All right, so but what we're gonna do first is we're gonna come into this little piece right here and we're gonna make two little creases with our X-Acto knife because we want those to open up with heat. So we go right through here and right through here. We're going to cut it out. Get the button. All right, there we go. Three itty bitty little pieces. Here. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to get out our hole puncher, take a little piece of two millimeter foam, and we'll All right, there we go. We've got our itty bitty tiny little pieces. All right, let's zoom in a little bit here. Put a super glue puddle down. It's hard to put itty bitty tiny pieces down without getting too much super glue on there. All right, there we go. We've got this nice little button right in here. Now we're gonna get a little bit of super glue on there. And we're going to Put it down on the inside. There we go. Trick is to not get too much on there or it'll slide all over the place. All right, there we go. Two little buttons in there and one right there. Nice. Now we're gonna come in and we're gonna do the little clip on the back of it, sort of like the clip on the back of a pen. All right, all right we've got some two millimeter pieces and a three millimeter. So. 
All right, there we go. All right, there we go. All right, it's gonna go on just like that. Stick it down here and back here. All right, there we go. Let's get a sanding stick out. Oh, there we go. Now we'll come in with our 320, clean it up just a little bit more because that's really fine sandpaper. All right, let's bring in our heat gun. Let's seal this thing, man. All right, there we go. Tightened up our foam. That is looking pretty cool, man. Look at that thing. Wow. All right, the heat slightly opened up our Exacto marks a little bit just to spread out those grooves. That is pretty cool, man. All right, with that last little heat sealing detail, that brings the build portion of our neuralizer to a close. All right, here we are at the spray stand. We're going to coat our neuralizer with our Plasti Dip. And you know what we always say even if you're outside in a well ventilated area, do not spray without your respirator. All right, there we go. Several coats of Plasti Dip, looking good. Really easy, not a whole lot of hidden areas to get in. Super easy stuff, all right? We're gonna leave it alone, let it dry, then we're gonna paint it. Super easy paint job, too. Okay, now we're gonna get ready to spray paint this, all right? And we, this is different than when we coat it with Plasti Dip. When we coat it with Plasti Dip, we can spray one side of it, give it a minute or two, and it's pretty much dry to be able to hold it to spray the other side. But with our spray paint, that's not the case. So we're gonna have to figure out a way to be able to hold this without our hands so we can spray the whole thing. So we're probably gonna take a little wire and stick it in the end so we can hold it and spray it, all right? So let's figure that out. All right, we've got this thin little piece of wire. We're gonna come in right on the end of our All right, there we go. Nice and easy. Pretty small hole. You won't really even see it when it's all over with. All right, there. Make ourselves a nice handle. Perfect. All right, time to spray. Okay, we're out at the spray stand. We're going to spray our Neuralizer with our crazy super ultra chrome silver. And you know what we always say, even if you're outside in a well-ventilated area, do not spray without your respirator. Nice, love that stuff, man. Look at that, that is shiny metallic right there. Very cool. All right, we're gonna leave this alone. We're gonna hang it up, just let it dry. It's almost dry already. 
and then we'll pull the rod out and you won't even see that little hole on the end. All right, there we go. Beautiful. All right, now real simple detail. All right, we're gonna come in here with our satin black. All right, there we go. There's our black buttons. Now we're gonna be really careful and we're gonna come in and we're gonna hit the sides of all of them as well. Covered the surfaces, trimmed in around that button. Really easy stuff, take your time. Sometimes you can change sizes of the brush. You can go into a tiny little skinnier brush if you need it. All right, there we go. Now we came in with this itty bitty tiny brush and we cut in around the edges of it. So there's our black buttons. Now we're gonna come in with the same little tiny brush and we're going to come around here and we're gonna get these little buttons right back here. All right, there we go. Look at that. We got our three black buttons our three black switches and our little black spot down there. Okay, here's our apple red. All right, there we go. That's one coat. All right, there it is, super simple. Took our time, we cut in all the way around our, our black circles, our black switches, the black space down in here. We did two coats of the red. We are all set. Pretty sharp. All right, with that last little red detail, that brings our Neuralizer build to a close. That easy. One episode, built the whole thing, sealed it, and painted it. Super easy build, equally easy paint job. Sprayed it, did a tiny little bit of brushing for a couple of little black details and the red button. Easy, easy. All right, that's it, man. That concludes making an EVA foam Neuralizer. Hope you liked it. If you did, give us a like, share us with a friend, and subscribe to this channel. And together, we're going to go step by step through a lot more super cool builds so that you get the props you deserve. Thanks for coming. See you next time.